Welcome back to my channel and um, excuse my fringe, it's urgently needed to be cut. I think I'll have to take a pair of scissors to it myself. Welcome to today's carpet video. I can't leave my fringe alone, it's going to annoy you as much as it is me. Or possibly more. Sunday carpet haul video to resell on eBay. Reasonable haul today, I wasn't feeling it. I bumped into Vanjie and her mum and we both agreed that we weren't feeling the vibe today. I wasn't feeling it. I plodded around very, I was incredibly slow. Both my kids were back in the car and waiting for me for about half an hour, maybe more. I was just slow and not really feeling it, but I still did okay. Yeah, I got a few nice bits. So let me start with these. They're slightly out of reach, but they're breakable, so I want to get them in the bottom of the bag where I can drop all the other stuff on top of them. It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? These were actually the last thing I bought, and I really liked them. They are um, Sainsbury's. They are Dirty Dancing Stacking Mugs. So each one has a famous line from the film on it. This first one is, obviously... Nobody puts baby in the corner. In addition to that one, you've got... The steps aren't enough, feel the music. I carried a watermelon, <laughs> and you're invading my dance space. Then they've got a little silhouette on the back of baby and Johnny dancing together. They're just really, really nice. The stand is a little bit discoloured around the base and it, all of the mugs are a bit grubby but the pink stuff paste will sort there out no problem and they were two pound and I just really liked them. they're ex-Sainsbury's as I said but they are discontinued in Sainsbury's can't get them anymore so dirty dancing mugs I saw them and I thought I've got to buy those got to buy those I paid I think this was the first item I bought and it was I think it was two pound fifty I think she asked three. I said, would she do two? And she said she'd do two pound fifty. I think that's what happened. It is a Remington Keratin Radiance straightening brush. Heated brush for radiant polished hair. Creates smooth straight styles and minutes. Flat edge enables closer styling to the roof for added volume. Two in one heated brush that straightens hair as you style, blah, 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 blah. I've tried one of these before, but the one I tried was a cheap Chinese kind of off of wish or whatever or somewhere like that. I don't know if these actually work if you buy a reputable branded one. I might give it a go before I decide whether or not to sell it. I don't know what they sell for. I don't know where I put my phone. I don't know anything much, but I thought it was worth a go for £2.50. And something that I know sells, this was from the next lady, and these were... I feel like these were £2. Maybe that was £2. Maybe these were £2.50. These were £2.50. These are Carmen Rollers. Carmen Rollers and they definitely sell. They've got a slight crack in the case but they've got all their pins with them which is the thing that's usually missing. All the rollers are there. You can see the crack in the case at the back now. I don't know if you guys can make it out on camera. Nasty crack in the case. But the rollers are all present and correct and the pins are all there so... That was £2.50. These were, the lady said, oh, these are £2 each, but I'll do two for £3, so I had to buy two. They are Ray Dunn dog bandanas. I don't see Ray Dunn very often. If you see Ray Dunn at the car boot sale, it's always worth grabbing, but you don't see it very often. The ceramics are massively collectible over here and sell really, really well. I didn't know she even did pet bandanas, but they've got good boy on there, and then on the other one, this, so one is white with good dog in it, and then the blue one um, has pictures of dogs, and it says things like Pawsum, and good dog and pet me and woof and so one set is white with blue and one set is white with white I have looked for them on eBay and they seem to be listed at £22 a set whether any have sold I can't see any have sold so whether whether they will sell at £22 a set I do not know but two for three quid on those chalet school books I know that the majority of my viewers are ladies of a certain age and I know that ladies of a certain age remember the chalet school. I know you do. So chalet school paperbacks, what have I got? I've got A Chalet Girl from Kenya, Trials for the Chalet School, A Genius at the Chalet School, The Chalet School of Rich Ender, The Princess of the Chalet School, The School at the Chalet, which is the very first one, The Head Girl of the Chalet School, and Lavender Lee at the Chalet School. I have read, I think, most of the chalet school books in my youth. Most of them. There might be a few that I missed because there was a huge, huge number of these. Eleanor M. Brent Dyer churned, I mean, that one's, that one's not in great condition. That one's going to need a repair. But she churned these out at a rate of knots. And I don't know how many there were in the end. They're ex-library as well. These are, oh no, this is an ex-school library. But yeah, they were 10p each. 10p each. You can't not buy chalet school books when they're 10p each, can you? 
you just can't not buy them. Let me know in the comments if you were a Shally School fan. This little pile here, £2.80. There is a collectible Peter Pan and Wendy plate. This is Cartoon Classics, a series of collectible plates, Peter Pan 1953. Kenley's Limited, I don't know. Copyright Disney. I do not know, it's got a plate hanger on the back. It's very, very grubby. It, the surface feels bleh, like it's been hung in somebody's greasy house. Like it may be in a kitchen, it feels like it might have been hung in a kitchen, but you wouldn't, would you? I suppose if you had a kitchen diner. So that was two pounds, and then this one was 30p, and that is an Orla Keeley or Kylie plastic or melamine plate. I think it's plastic. Bamboo, maybe. It might be bamboo. And then this one is a Calf Kidston bamboo plate seagull check placement. That was 50p. The Orla Kylie one was 30p. So £2.80 for the three. Three pounds for a Yours Clothing skirted swimsuit, brand new with its crotch sticker. The, the liner in the crotch is still there, so we know it's not been worn. Oh, it has got its tag. I thought it had a tag when I first bought it. So size 18, a Yours Clothing swim costume now comes in at about 35 quid in store, so... And skirted styles are always popular. So that's probably good. That was three quid. That's probably a good buy for three quid. I bought two other swimming costumes. These are from one lady and again, two pound each or two for, or she did the two for three pound. So this one is uh, next size 18. And that is, it is a one piece, but the kind that looks like a two piece because it has the ruched front bit that you can pull up to hide a tummy. So it's got the side bits there and you can tighten those and ruch up the front to hide your tummy size 18 on that one and then this is a two piece but again long line this is a tankini Tammy insists on calling them tank teenies it drives me mad <laughs> really really drives me mad and I think the, because sorry I've got something in my because she knows it drives me mad she does it more <laughs> so that is a 16 don't know where from Matalan size 16 from Matalan tankini there's a huge fly in this room i've got all the windows open because it's a glorious day there were about six flies in it when i came upstairs so i opened all the windows five of them had the sense to go on their way one of them's decided to stay and keep me company i spent five pounds with steve today and i got a le creuset lid just a lid i don't know why just a lid it's not the kind that has the screw off knob so did you know just a le creuset knob sells really well on its own replacement knobs but this is a stoneware casserole dish lid i think because it doesn't have a metal knob just a lid. I presume somebody broke the pot, but maybe it will sell. It was in with me fiver. Also in with me fiver, a vintage rotary whisk. I have bought these multiple times. I don't know if this is a branded one or not. I can't see a brand on that. Doesn't mean it isn't there, it just means I can't see it. I don't think it's a prestige one, but I could be telling lies. It says stainless steel on one of the blades, but it hasn't got any prestige branding, so I presume not. And then also in with my fiver, three McDonald's glasses. That'd be about 15 quid on those three. And a ceramic Costa mug. This is a Christmas, what year is this? 2018. Christmas 18 ceramic Costa mug with the nutcracker on it. Lovely condition. I bought two lots of hammer today from two different sellers. Oh, that's it there. £1.50 for this first lot, which is big bag of beads and one two three four five shape plates one pound fifty for that and then one pound for this second lot which is the tub of beads four large square plates and then there's there's at least one two there's at least five shape plates inside as well they've stuck the lid down so that, so that it won't all fall out but at least five of those in there so two pound fifty four of that that's a bundle that i will probably be able to sell for up to 20 quid so that's definitely worth worth £2.50 on the lot and from the same guy that I bought one of the hammer sets from I bought Paddington this is the best of Paddington classic adventures of the bear from darkest Peru seven CDs unabridged read by Stephen Fry the king of reading audiobooks I did count it while I was there to make sure there were seven CDs there are um 
No idea, no idea on retail. Some audiobooks go really, really well, some not so much. And then the last few bits of clothing, I am trying to buy less clothing because I've got a backlog, as I've said before. But this white company top was a pound. It needs a wash. The guy bought it three pound. He's, um, I, I've spoken about it before. I think he's, he probably got a market stall background because he says, oh, that's 2 99 And I'm like, it's very unusual for something at car boot to be something ending in 99. But anyway, he came over and he said, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. That was three pound. And I said, okay, it's dirty because it's grubby around the edges of the cuffs and it has a stain on the front. And he said, oh, okay, okay, two pound. And I was like, no, I'm going to put it back. I didn't even bother saying, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going to put it back because it's, um, you know, it's, and he was like, okay, okay, a pound. And I was like, okay, I'll take it for a pound because on a pound, I will try to get the stain out. It is 95% cotton and 5% cashmere. So it is a nice top if I can get that little stain at the front, but I'm, the problem with it being cotton cashmere blend is you have to wash it carefully. You have to give, give it a bit of care and then too much care and you can't get the stain out. It's hooded kind of loungewear, soft, very, very soft. This is a denim new look dress and I've paid two pounds for it and I wouldn't have if I'd realised that there's actually a bit of damage there. It's not even just a tear, it's a cut. Somebody snipped that at some point with scissors. Now, why would you do that? I will stitch it up, but of course now I'll have to declare it when I list it. But it's a very, very wide kind of bardo neckline, new look denim short dress. And it was very nice apart from that little bit of damage. Why would somebody have snipped that with scissors? Why? And the last two things are actually for me and hopefully for Tammy. So I got me this grey made in Italy. Look at it. <laughs> Unfold it in a minute. It's fighting back. It's a little hooded sweatshirt with a lager look kind of shape. It's got a funnel neckline. It's not hooded. It's got a funnel neckline. It tell lies you see constantly. That's hopefully going to fit me, hopefully. And then I picked this up for Tammy, that was £3. Picked this up for Tammy, this was a fiver. And if it doesn't fit her, then I'll just list it anyway. It's a brand called, it says Nouvelle Collection. Now, where would that be from? Sometimes, if you find the care label, it tells you which store it's from. Like, so, you know, sometimes Nouvelle Collection might be at New Look or somewhere. Can I find a wash label? No, the, it is, it, that's just the branding, Nouvelle Collection, so maybe some kind of overseas brand, but it's a, it's a jumpsuit. It's a short sleeved, full leg, summer jumpsuit. The only thing is that it has elasticated ankles, which Tammy may not be into, but she does love a jumpsuit. So I thought I would, and it has a, a, a weight, a belt, a tie weight. Oh God. It has a tie belt and everything. Tie back, tie back detail. She might like it. It was a fiver. I thought we'd try it. If she doesn't like it, I'll try and sell it on. That's it. That is the haul and all of the Sunday haul. And um, we went to see if the trench lane car boot was started, but there was no sign of it yet. So hopefully in another couple of weeks, I might have two car boots on a Sunday instead of one. If you've seen anything in this haul video that takes your fancy, as always, there is an email address in the description box underneath the video. I, I would much prefer that you email me and ask me about stuff than rather put it in the comments because sometimes I don't see the comments. Sometimes the comments get hidden by YouTube for any reason. So if you if you want to know the price of anything like that or if you're interested in buying, please do email me on the email address in the description box and we'll try and, and work together. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye for now.